blessed morning. Good morning. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Lift up your voice this morning. Let's magnify the name of the Lord our God. Come on. Let's do it together. Father, we give you praise. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Father, we adore you. Father, we worship you. You alone are God and there is none like you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. King of glory. Thank you. Lion of Judah. Thank you. The I am that I am. Thank you. The rock of our salvation. Thank you. The lifter up of our heads. Thank you. Father, tonight, this morning, this afternoon, wherever time it is, we lift up our voices and we magnify you. A million thanks. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Now, I want us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Annie, good morning. Stella, good morning. Good morning. I want us to bring ourselves under the covering of the blood of Jesus. Let the blood cover us 24-7. May everything that God has blessed you with, bring it under the covering of the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Come on, let's begin to pray. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lift up your voice. Father, we bring ourselves under the covering of the blood. Let the blood cover us. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, we need, oh God, the blood. My God, tonight, Father, we are asking that the blood of Jesus will be a shield around us. Wherever your people have logged in from, oh God, I pray that the environment, my God, will be saturated with the blood of Jesus. Let your name and your name alone be lifted high, oh Lord our God. For who, oh God, is like unto you? Father, tonight we give you praise, we give you thanks. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Tonight, let the blood speak for us. We honor you and we praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, I want every one of you, um, those of you on, um, on Rev, so be a blessing. Those of you on Rev, so be a blessing. I will really appreciate it if some of you can just leave Rev, so be a blessing and join us on, um, on so be a blessing. That would be awesome. Now, this morning, I want us to um, lift up our children before the Lord. Wherever your children are, you are bringing them under the covering of the blood of Jesus. You are praying that may the Lord preserve and keep your children as your children are sleeping, wherever your children may be. May the Lord keep your children. May the Lord keep them. May the Lord preserve your children. May the Lord hide your children. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Come on, let's do it together. Father, this morning we bring our children before you. We soak our children in the blood of Jesus. We are asking, oh God, tonight or this morning, that Father, as our children are sleeping, Father, yes, or wherever they may be, I pray that your hand will be upon them. That Father, you will keep and you will preserve our children, Father, from stray bullets and satanic and witchcraft attack. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, may our children never become a prey to the teeth of our enemies. In the precious name of Jesus, may you, oh God, arise and defend our children. Not just our children, but children around the globe. Father, wherever they are, Father, deliver our children from molestation. The power of the enemy. My God, in the name of Jesus, we honor and glorify you this morning in Jesus' precious name. Now, I want you to pick up your Bible this morning. Come on, let's do it together. Pick up your Bible with me. Come on, pick up your Bible with me. I am asking those of you on Rev. Sylvia Blessing, um, you know, just um, go searching for Sylvia Blessing and uh, join us on Sylvia Blessing, okay? And let's do it live. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Lord, sit on me. I um. I went to New Jersey, and um, on my way, coming from New Jersey, I had prepared myself. I wanted us to continue from evil voices. We're on our way coming from um, New Jersey and um, the Lord prompted 
my spirit for us to look into um, what we are about to look into. The reason being that the season, the times that we are in, I believe every one of us, and I want you to listen to me tonight. It is not how many people that knows you. It is not how popular you are. It's not how rich you are. It's not how influential you are. I believe that it boils down or everything else or everything we are doing boils down to the fact that how available are you for the Lord to use? It's not how rich you are. It's not how influential you are. It's not how popular you are. It's not how likable you are. The question is, how available are you for God to use? I wanted to continue, really, with, um, you know, um, the voice. Okay? The wicked voice, evil voice. I wanted to continue with it. But, tonight... I want you to open up your spirit, not just your mind, but open up your spirit. And I want you to pay attention. I believe when we started the fasting from day one, those of you who were with us from day one, some of you joined us in the middle. Oh, good morning, rejoice, my love. Some of you joined us in the middle. Some of you started with us in the beginning. Some of you, you just joined us. Glory be to God. <laughs> you just joined us. But whether you joined us from the beginning or you met us in the middle or you are now joining us, the fact of the matter is you are with us. But those who joined us in the beginning, I remember saying this. The 2018... Yeah, yeah, Nephia, how available are you? 2018, the Lord spoke to us in the beginning of the year that it's a year of divine acceleration. So many promises that God gave us. I met a great man of God when um, um, I went to, you know, to do God's work in one of the, um, the states. And he said something very profound. And what did he say? He said the Lord told him that the first six months of the year was or is going to be glorious, powerful. And then the next six months is going to be struggles. But those that will connect to him allow themselves <laughs> to be used by him. It will be like Joseph in Egypt when through wisdom he was able to gather and store food for seven years. And those that will connect to the Lord and allow the Lord to speak to them, to use them. Those are the people that God is going to give them secrets as to how to endure for the next six months of the year 2018. And so I want you to pay attention to me this morning. Open your Bible. Come on, let's do it together. Open your Bible. Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. I want you to invite um, your friends. I want you to share the video. Let somebody be blessed by it. 
and um, <laughs> woman of God, eat it really. You connected me to your TV, so you are watching me loud. I mean, on a big screen. All right, sweetie. All right, the Lord bless. The Lord bless. So, Luke chapter 19. Come on, let's do it together. Luke chapter 19. I want us to start reading from verse 29. Luke chapter 19, verse 29. Luke chapter 19, verse 29. And it came to pass when he was come nigh to Bethage and Bethany at the mount called the Mount of Olives. He sent two of his disciples saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering, ye shall find a court tied, whereon yet never man sat. Lose him and bring him hither. And if any man asks you, Why do ye lose him? Thus shall ye say unto him, Because the Lord has need of him. <laughs> and they that were sent went their way and found even as he had said unto them. And, and as they were losing the cult, the owners therefore said unto them, Why lose ye the cult? And they said, the Lord has need of him. I want you to underline this for me. Verse 34. The Lord, and they said the Lord has need of him. And they brought him to Jesus. And they cast their garment upon the court. And they set Jesus thereon. And as he went, they spread their cloth in the way. And when he was come nigh, even now, at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice from all the works, or the mighty works that they have seen, saying, Blessed be the King that cometh in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest, and some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones will immediately cry out. And when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, if thou hast known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the thing which belongs unto, the, unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thy eyes. For the day shall come upon thee, that thy enemies shall cast a trench about thee, and compass thee round, and keep thee in on every side, and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee any stone upon another, because thou knowest not the time of thy visitation. I want to stop here, and uh, I want to talk to you. Lord, sit on me. Lord, sit on me. Lord, sit on me. Now, Jesus, the Jesus that was born by a Virgin Mary, the Jesus that grew and the Jesus that uh, was called the carpenter's son, the Jesus that um, 30 years of his years here on earth, um, he was helping Joseph. Yeah, Lord, sit on me. Hmm. Prophetess Emilia, Lord, <laughs> sit on me. And so 
the Jesus that had helped Joseph, the carpenter, work his carpentry for 30 years of his life. Now, the three years before he was crucified, Jesus only lived for 33 years here on earth. 33. <laughs> Jesus lived for 33 years. And so now, as planned by God, he's supposed to be crucified. Jesus now is entering into Bethany and um, he sends his disciples, two of them, and he says, I want you, even though Jesus had not gone to the next village, he was in a particular place, but yet he could see. Because remember, he was not just the king of kings. Some also called him the prophet. And so Jesus told his disciples, he says, go to the next village. And when you go there, you will see a donkey that no man had ever sat on. Now, in those days, donkeys were a means of transportation and work. They used donkeys for their work. Jesus said, you go to the next city and the next town. And when you go there, you will see a donkey tied. And just as you see the donkey, I want you, the donkey belongs to somebody, but I want you to lose the donkey and bring the donkey to me because I will have to sit on the donkey. And Jesus says, just as you go there and you start losing the donkey, the owners of the donkey are going to ask you, what do you think you are doing? Why are you losing the donkey? I'm going somewhere this morning. I believe that this morning, somebody's deliverance will be settled this morning. Somebody's deliverance will be settled. This morning, I believe that there are certain cases that have not been settled. And this morning, Jehovah will settle the cases. Hmm. And so he says, you go to the next town. And when you go to the next town, you will find a donkey there. And, and you will see that the donkey is tied. The donkey is tied under... Uh, you see people, two men that are standing by the donkey. And just as you go there and start untying the donkey, they are going to ask you why you are untying the donkey. And if they ask you why, tell them that the master is in need of the donkey because the master will have to sit on the donkey. Now, the disciples go there, all right, and they found the donkey. And just as God said to them, they found the donkey, all right, and uh, they started losing the donkey because the donkey was tied. The neck of the donkey was tied. And they started losing the donkey. And the owner said, what do you people think you are doing? And he says, the master says, he's in need of the donkey because he has to sit on the donkey. Oh, Uncle Francis. <laughs> Uncle Francis. Uncle Francis. <laughs> That's my, my sister Pearl's um, husband, Uncle Francis. <laughs> the 
they go there all right and um, they see this donkey. The donkey's tired. The donkey's weary. The donkey's hungry. The donkey have nowhere to go. The donkey is been stuck in one place for a very long time. Oh, I'm going somewhere this morning. <laughs> the donkey is stuck in one place for a very long time. Oh, good morning, man of God, P um, Peter Jesulova. The Lord bless you, sir. The donkey is tied in one place for a very long time. The donkey has become immobile. The donkey's life is wasting away. Why? Because the donkey cannot move. The donkey is not free. The donkey um, doesn't have liberty. The donkey is tied to one geographical location. And the owner is just sitting down. And the owner has become a watchman. Just watching the donkey. And yet nobody could lose the donkey and do anything with the donkey. Jesus could have gotten any donkey he wanted to. But this particular donkey has been there for a very long time. This particular donkey has stayed in one location for a very long time. This donkey has been useless for a very long time. And the donkey is there. They are not giving the liberty to the donkey to move around. The donkey is tied the neck is tied and the donkey is just there. And so Jesus now foreseeing, looking and seeing what this donkey have gone through for very long. There were other donkeys there that Jesus could have picked up those donkeys and used. But Jesus didn't want any other donkey. He wanted that particular donkey. The man goes there. And just as Jesus said it, when they got there, they saw the donkey. Where Jesus said they'll find the donkey, the donkey was there. And so they started, they saw the owner of the donkey sitting and cross the legs. And the rope is around the donkey and the owner is sitting there. I can just imagine, you know, my, my brain go wild when I read the, the scriptures. Sometimes I imagine myself in the scriptures when I'm reading the scriptures. I can just imagine the owner of the donkey. All right, with a long chewing stick on the mouth and brushing his teeth with the chewing stick, and the donkey is standing there, and the donkey is weary, and the donkey is tired, and the donkey is hungry, and yet he will not allow the donkey to go scot free. The owner. And just as this man come in and they did not ask, are you the, the owner of the donkey? No. Um, is it okay for us to lose the donkey? No. Jesus says, you go there and when you go there, just there is a donkey right there. There are a whole bunch of donkeys, but I don't need any donkey. This particular donkey is what I really need. And so I am going to let you do something for me. Yes, in those days, like in the days of Saul, yeah, there were a whole bunch of people that were persecuting the church uh, that, that, that Jesus could have, could have, could, could have, could have encountered or Jesus could have met anybody else. Saul was not the only one that was persecuting the church. There were people that were persecuting the church. But there was something about, about Saul that 
that that that that that God wanted to wanted to use him for there was something about Saul. Count it as an honor and privilege that God will bypass everybody and decide to pick you and sit on you. Oh God. Count it as a great honor that you bypass everybody in your family. Yeah. There is an owner, there is a boss in the family that have brought everybody under their control. And they are the boss in the family. Yeah, they are the head in the family. And they have brought everybody under their grip. Everybody is under their charm. Everybody is under their dominion. Yes, 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 yes. Everybody is under the control of this individual, of this power in the family. But guess what? God bypass every one of of them and God says go to the guy and tell that guy hmm, I need Sylvia yeah I need Amelia I need I need Liz yeah there are a whole bunch of people in the family but but guess what no I don't need any of them yeah I need Gina yeah 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 so, so go in there and the strong man in the family, go and tell the strong man, yeah, go and lose my God, Rebecca, and bring Rebecca. And if the strong man in the family there asks you, why are you losing her? Tell the strong man that the Lord is in need of a queer portion. The strong man have used you for a very long time. The strong man have rendered you hopeless and useless. The strong man used you. And the strong man made you do things you are not supposed to be doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your, your, your mind is saying you don't do it. But your flesh, because you, you are under the control of a strong man. And so whatever the strong man says, that's what you do. And so you, 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 you become a prostitute. You, 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 you become a harlot. You become, you become a liar. You become, you become everything. That, that 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 is in opposition to the will of God because the strong man was the one that was using you. You couldn't lose yourself. No. I believe there are times where the donkey would have wished that the rope would have been taken from off its neck but the donkey have no choice but to stay there because the master have become the watchman and the master is watching to make sure that the donkey will not be loosed There is a voice. Kalabaduri igede granto mehede bedizo. There is a voice, and when that voice speaks, the Bible says the voice of the Lord is upon the waters. When the voice of the Lord speaks, no other voice can challenge the voice of the living God. And so Jesus, the voice, says, Go and lose the donkey and when anybody asks you, if anybody have the nerve to ask you, the donkey, I created the donkey in my own image and likeness. Everything that is in the world was created by me, for me, and through me. And so I have the audacity to use what I want to use, who I want to use. And I, I can use them when I feel like using them because I created them. And so, that man that owns the donkey did not create the donkey. No, he only owns the donkey, but he did not create the donkey. 
Yeah. The enemy owed you. He owned you. You you were you were you were, you, you were his slave and he used you at will. And any time he felt like he using you to do his dirty work, yeah, the enemy will pick you up and use you to do his dirty work. But there is something in the inside of you, and that something is the inner voice that is calling out to God and saying, Lord, help me. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to be sleeping with that man anymore. I, 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 I don't want to be lying anymore. I don't want to be a homemonger anymore. I don't want to do it anymore, but I can't. I can't stop. Because there is a ruler. That is controlling my life and I can't. Sometimes I don't feel, I don't feel like going where the master wants me to go. I don't feel like it, but guess what? He has me by the neck. And so he's pulling me, even though sometimes I don't want to. But I'm being pulled by the master I'm being pulled sometimes I feel like I'm choking and I'm being pulled by the master but inwardly I am crying out and I'm saying when will somebody hear the silent cry in my spirit when will somebody hear this, this inner weeping? I am weeping within. Yeah, people look at me and they, they oh, they look, oh, the girl is fine. Man, this girl is beautiful. That man is handsome. Oh my God, look at her shape. Look at her color. My God, she's so polite. And yet people are looking at the beautiful donkey outside. But within. The donkey is a damaged good. The donkey is damaged within. Because he can't do what, what, what he wants to do. No, he cannot do what he wants to do. He can, he can have the freedom. He can, he can, he can, he 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 he, he can decide to, uh, to to go to um to 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 at least to join at the donkeys, you know, to go grazing. He he can't do that because he has a master that is controlling his life and destiny. And there is a silent cry. There are inner conflict. Yeah. Sometimes you're sitting and you are talking to yourself. And somebody's looking at you and they say, oh, wow, look at that beautiful girl. She's going out of her mind, yeah. You are, you are silently dying and you can't talk to anybody because there is a master that is, that is manipulating. There is a master that is, that is looking at you. There is a master that is telling you this is how far you can go. You can't go any further. And the master is telling you, you try make an attempt to escape and you will see what I will do to you. And the master washes you, hmm. cleans you up. You are spotless on the outside, but within you are dying. You are dying. 
And when the night season comes, the donkey is lying down and looking still with a rope on his neck and looking in the clouds and seeing the stars. And the donkey saying, I wish. I wish I will not be under this barn here. I wish I am not in this cage. I wish I could go outside and uh, look at the stars like everybody else. I wish my feet were not in these chains. I wish my, my neck was free. I, I, I wish I could eat what I want. I wish I could laugh when I feel like laughing. I wish I could laugh out loud. I wish I could be funny and goofy. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. And everything has become a wish. I wish. There are many times Jesus had gone many places doing his father's business. Jesus had bypassed many donkeys on the way going to do his father's business. And none of those donkeys caught his attention. Because those donkeys were free. And those donkeys had their liberty. But this particular It is time, Jesus, the hour is approaching where Jesus will have to be crucified. And uh, Jesus have gotten, you know, some attentions, uh, you know, by healing the blind and, and, and raising Lazarus from the dead. And, and the crippled are, are walking and, uh, and, 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 and the, uh, the blind are seeing and, uh, and many miracles. In place but Jesus is about to be crucified and when he's crucified he will be glorified but he has to enjoy his earthly glory one more time before he's crucified Jesus could have chosen anything. Jesus could have chosen anybody. Jesus could have chosen any donkey. But he chose the donkey that silently is crying for help. And yet, everybody around, some of them can feel that the donkey needs help. But because of the master, nobody can go to the donkey. Until one day, the voice that speaks louder and clearer and powerful than any other voice, yeah, than any other voice, The strong man is your father who kept abusing you and using his mouth to tell you nothing good will come out of your life. Yeah, the strong man was your own father who was molesting you. Yeah, the strong man. Yeah, your own brother, your stepbrother, your auntie. Your stepmother, your stepfather, yeah, the strong man. They turn you into a slave. Yeah. But you have no idea. 
Like Jeremiah, the God who tells Jeremiah, Jeremiah, before you were blood of cloth in your mother's room, I, I knew you and I ordained you as a prophet to the nations. And so you may look like nothing in the sight of the strong man. But because the strong man was not the one that created you, he doesn't know your make up. The strong man doesn't really know what you were made up of. He has no idea. Somebody sold you to the strong man. Jesus says, now go. I have seen, I have heard. The donkey is nowhere near us. By, by the eye of the spirit, I can see the donkey. And there's a strong man standing by the donkey, the owner of the donkey. Now when you get there, lose that donkey and bring that donkey to me because I have to sit on the donkey now. The donkey have been a slave for a very long time but guess what? Just as I sit on the donkey and I get the glory the blessing comes to the donkey because when I'm sitting on the donkey and everybody is saying oh Hosanna, Hosanna Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord and everybody, the women are putting down their cloth and they are saying Hosanna, Hosanna and they are glorifying the Lamb of God. The donkey also gets the glory. It is time for me to glorify this donkey. The beginning of the year we've put our stomach down why? What at all are we looking for? Yeah. We just want to be used. <laughs> we want to be free so that God can use us. So that his presence will not just come on us and leave. No. That you will sit on us. That Jesus will sit on us. Because when Jesus sits on us and he gets the glory, he doesn't need the blessing. And so when he gets the glory, we get the blessing. We just want him to sit on us. Hey, 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 what do you people think you're doing? Losing the donkey. What do you, who do you people think you are? You are losing the donkey. And they said, the master is in need of the donkey. And interestingly, they did not ask them, who is the master? Just as they said, the master is in need of the donkey. The owner shut his mouth. And they lose the donkey. And I can just see the donkey without any rope on his neck. And the donkey is walking majestically. Between two men that, that have a connection with Jesus. And I can just see the donkey walking majestically. And the donkey is saying, I'm free. Oh, I'm free. The master came for me. Oh, the master sent for me. And I'm free. And I'm free. And the donkey is coming. And when the donkey got close to the master. 
The master never said a word. And the donkey just went down. And Jesus. The donkey all this time. Have learned. Submission. And humility. Because the donkey had no choice. He had the master that was doing everything to humble the donkey. And so the donkey had no struggle with humility. No. So the donkey just goes down. And Jesus sits on the donkey. Now when the donkey now stretched forth himself. Jesus was not on the ground like he was. Jesus was elevated. Now the women sees this glorious king on a donkey and they lay their garments on the floor and they have palm branches in their hands and they are saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And women are screaming. Boys are screaming and girls are screaming. And they are saying Hosanna. And people who don't even know who Jesus is. Are just coming from left and right. And they are saying who is that? And they said, oh, Jesus. And just as they are saying Jesus, they are not only looking at Jesus, they see him elevated, and they are looking down, and they see the donkey. And the women have their precious, priceless garments, and they are laying it on the floor, and the donkey, is walking on pure linen and the donkey is getting attention and people are not only looking at Jesus but they are looking at the donkey as well and the donkey says whoa I really didn't know that this is how freedom feels like Oh, I had no idea that allowing Jesus to sit on me, I was going to get this much attention. Wow. I didn't really know that all my suffering and all my disappointment and my pain was going to bring me in contact with Jesus. I thought I was forgotten. I thought that nobody cared. I, I, I thought that this was how my life was going to be ending. And that the next time I hear, I hear the, the sound of utensils, the sound of, of, um, of, of, of iron. I am thinking that, oh my, I am going, you know, like everybody else, I'm going to be killed like everybody else. And so I'm counting my days when I'm going to be killed and slaughtered. Because you see, man only knows how to use a thing. And when they are done using it, they dump it. Man only knows how to use. And when you have no use to them anymore. They know how to make mockery of you. They know how to dump you. They know how to, I mean, mess you up. Yeah, that's, that's the nature of man. And so the donkey is thinking, oh, the next time I hear, I hear, you know, I'm the sharpening of the knife. I know it is time for, for me to go like every other donkey. But the donkey had no idea that upon all that he was going. A day was going to be coming that he was going to be glorified. Why? Because the king 
of all kings was going to sit on him. The glory that was on Jesus, the glory was also on him because he allowed Jesus to sit on him. The one whom all power belongs to the unchangeable changer, the one who, whose blood in a few, in a few days, his blood was going to the sinless blood was going to spill, and the blood hmm, that has so much power to take away the sins of the world. The donkey became a carrier of the presence of God because Jesus is God himself. Wow. Wow. I want to be that donkey. I desire to be that donkey that Jesus was sit on. I don't want Jesus to, I don't want his presence to just come and go. No, I want him to sit on me. I want him to sit. I want him to have a seat. So that when I allow him to sit and he gets the glory, get the blessing because God doesn't need blessings. I need the blessings of God and so when I allow him to sit on me and he gets the glory I get the blessing. I want him to sit on me because when he sits on me I become the hand Of Jesus, an extended hand of Jesus. He uses me to become the voice to the voiceless. He uses me to bring peace to them that have no peace. He uses me to wipe away the tears of them that started crying from the day they were born and up to now they have not stopped crying yeah because i allowed myself to be that donkey that others would be rescued because i was there i was a slave to sin I had a tax master. I went through hell and back. Being abused, rejected. Oh, sweetie. I've been through all that and back. And I thought that he has forgotten. No. Because for him to use a nobody like me, I will have to go through the process. I will have to go through the process. I remember last two years, two years ago, I had taken my youngest child to school and I came back home and I was in a fasting. And I was lying on the bed, I was praying in the spirit and I fell asleep. And I saw myself walking and I saw a man and a woman and um, 
they had a rope on the neck of a goat. And they were pulling them, a man and a wife were pulling the goat. You know, they were walking and they were pulling the goat. In the vision, I greeted both of them, but none of them answered. And just as I passed them, I was going. The goat, God is my witness. The goat started speaking like a human being and saying, please help me. I woke up. I said, what the? What in the name of the Lord is this? A goat speaking and said, help me. I called a prophet friend of mine. And I said, I just had this weird vision. And then he says, woman of God, you know what it is. I know you know the meaning of this thing here. I say, yes, I know the meaning. But who is this God? Who is this person that they've turned into a God? Who? I now geared my fasting towards whoever it was. I didn't know who he was, but I get my fasting towards. And since that day, there have been an unusual compassion I have in my heart for mankind. An unusual compassion I have for people. An unusual compassion. I want to be that donkey. I don't know about you. Look, in your own, in your entire family, you are the one he's called. You are the one he's chosen. You are that donkey. Allow him to sit on you. The time we are in, this is not the time for us Allowing self, pride, to reign. If your flesh could have helped you, could have helped you by now. Be that donkey. Sit on me, Lord. Sit. <laughs> Sit on me. I don't want to. Be left out. You are doing something amazing around the world. I want to be part of it. I want to be that donkey. Sit on me, Lord. Sit on me. Because if the Lord sits on you, my darling, flesh, can never glory in his presence. Flesh, no. Flesh, no. Sit on me, Lord. I want to be used by you. Sit on me. Look at something here. Mm. Verse 37, and when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they have seen, saying, Blessed be the King that cometh in the name of the Lord. Peace. In heaven and glory in the highest. Peace. Peace. In earth and glory in the highest. Peace. 
right after Jesus have sat on the donkey. Couple of days after, he was being beaten. Jesus, people were spitting on him. People called him all kinds of names. They make mockery of him. They were lying on him. And yet he still did not open his mouth. Luke chapter 19. He did not open his mouth. Why? If he had not gone to the cross. don't know where I would have been. Some of you, maybe, you know, I don't know where I would have been if he had not gone to the cross. He loves you and I so much. Luke chapter 19, please. I started from verse 29. He loves you and I so Even on his way to the cross, upon all the people he has saved and delivered and, and raised from the dead, he still found a donkey to deliver the donkey before. Are you really willing to be that donkey to sit on? Are you willing to be that donkey? Because self have gotten in the way. Flesh have gotten in the way. That we don't know that we are only vessels. And so we have allowed flesh. You see glorious women that are supposed to be allowing the Lord to sit on them. Now they go to church parading flesh. Parading flesh in church. Their top is tight. Their shape is tight. The behind is tight. The lipstick is so I We are parading flesh instead of us allowing the master to sit on us. We have become the masters of our own lives. I pray, Lord, sit on me. Because if he sits on me and he have my spirit, soul, and body, then he can tell me, Sophia, you are going wrong. Stop it. And because he's sitting on me, he can direct me better. I sit on me, Lord. Sit. Lord, sit. I don't know if this is your cry. I don't know if this is your desire. We are going to ask him. We have allowed things to become our God. And instead of God sitting on us, we have become or we are allowing the things of the flesh and of the world to now rule us. We have forgotten. 
that one of these days we are going to encounter him, see him face to face. Has the death of Jesus no meaning to us at all? His death have no meaning to us. His death have no meaning. And so we do what we like, we say what we like. Yeah. There are men and women standing in the pulpit, worshippers. Saturday night, you take off your underwear for somebody and Sunday, you are standing there saying, I surrender. And you know what you did last night? He says, I've come to a place where your tears mean nothing to me anymore because you keep sinning and yet coming back to my altar and filling my altar with tears. And he says, I don't see your tears anymore. Because our hearts have become so hardened. And the Holy Ghost cannot even penetrate to our hearts anymore. No. I was talking to one of my spiritual daughters and I said something to her today. I said people would pay hundreds of dollars just to go for a worldly concert. When Michael Jackson was alive, don't tell me that Christians did not go to his concert. No, it's a lie. Christians. People would pay hundreds of dollars. Let your church organize a retreat and people have excuses not to go and seek God. But they have every reason and every money to do things that will not edify or lift up or help their growth as children of the living God. Hmm. And yet, and yet, when our back is against the wall, we want to go and talk to God. And yet, the same God you and I want to talk to is the same God we are doing everything not to listen to. We have become masters of our own life. This morning, sometimes I look at certain people and the way they live their lives and, and I don't have to be a prophetess to predict because the way they are living like their lives because this world is governed by laws. When you look at the way they live their lives, you can easily predict their end. You know why? Because the world is governed by a law. And when you go against the law, it comes with consequences. And so nobody will, no, nobody, I mean, I mean, nobody curses them. By the way they live their lives, you can easily predict their end. According to the laws that governs the world and the earth. Can you and I be the donkey that God will sit on? Can we come to a place of saying, Lord... I don't want
around. And sometimes, let me say this, and we are going to pray. Sometimes we go to God and we say, Father, I'm tired. Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. And yet, when the Lord delivers us, we have become like pigs. We go back to the mud. We go right back in there. Somebody invited me to a program. And I said to myself, I said, no, uh, there's so much controversies here. Me, I'm not going. Though. I said, no, I'm not going. Too much controversy, I'm not going. And the Holy Ghost comes to me and says, it's not because of you. It's not because of that individual. He said, I'm giving you the go ahead to go for the sake of my people. For the sake. Of God's people. Who will put themselves under this pressure? If not for God. One whole hundred days. For what? What at all am I looking for? What at all do I want from God? <laughs> when you allow him to sit on you. When you allow him. Sit on you. He uses you for his glory. And when his glory is seen, you get the blessing. We are going to pray this morning. <laughs> Lose him because the master is in need of him. You are going to tell your enemy to lose you because God needs you. As I pray with you, you are going to lift up your voice. Sometimes it is a behavior, an attitude that has gotten hold of your life. And you can't lose yourself from that stinky behavior, from that attitude. It has become a pattern and that behavior is holding you tight and it's not allowing you to go. Why? Because you've not made up your mind to divorce that behavior. You've not made up your mind. And so you hear them say, as for me, that's how I am. Either you take me the way I am or, or not. Ah, as for me, me, I can't change for anybody. This is how I am. So either you take me for who I am. No. You can never come in contact with Jesus and remain the same. My darling, it is impossible. Nobody have really gotten in touch with Jesus and remain the same way. It's impossible. If you, if you, you claim that you've met Jesus, you know Jesus, and as you were in the beginning, so shall you ever be a world without end. You are still the same. I question your, you telling me you've met God. I question it. Because nobody comes in contact with Jesus and remains the same. No. No. Yeah, Julie, it's a fact. Nobody comes in contact with Jesus and remains the same. As for me, this is how I am. Either you take me the way I am, or I don't care. As for me, that's how I am. Ah, that's it. <laughs> that's how I am. And so, you say you were born again, Christian. You said Jesus lives in the inside of you. And yet, and yet, people look at you, and because of your behavior, People don't even want to go to church. My darling, we are going to allow love. Just allow him to sit on you. Just allow the Lord to sit on you. Somebody asked me a question today.
I posted a testimony of a lady that um, set the tax, her tax returns. Um, they gave her some X amount of pounds. I posted it. It's right there on my page there. And she was giving testimony. She sold her seed of of eighty dollars, and um, just as she sold the seed of eighty dollars, um, the um, the tax returns was was released, um, you know, onto her and and um, you know, equivalent to pounds. That's a lot of money. So somebody asked me, says so 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 woman of God. Upon all the prayers you've been praying with these people, and somebody got that X amount of money through this ministry, okay, by the grace of God. Did the person even, even called you to say, you know what, woman of God, um, I bless God for God using you. And so woman of God, this is, for example, um, this is maybe um, 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 300 pounds or 400 pounds. Did the person do that? I said, no. And then the individual said, why are you wasting your time? Then I responded, I said, uh -uh. I said, it's not a time wasting. Sometimes when others don't do right, God always makes another way. Are you listening to me? Why? Because I am not looking at man. I have said to myself, I am a donkey. You sit on me and do whatever you want to do because at the end of the day, he is the blesser. He is the blesser. Not man. All I'm asking you this morning is allow him to sit on you and that's the prayer I want us to pray and believe him that Lord sit on me sit sit on me another person also gave their testimony oh after she gave the seed the, the $80 seed $80 she gave $80 seed a lawyer I mean, which lawyer? Lawyers. I'm sorry if you are a lawyer watching me. Praise the Lord. I'm sorry. But your money will not enter into the hands of no lawyer for them to say, uh, we owe you this money, so we are returning it. A lawyer. Sure. And after one year, connected to this ministry by the grace of God, the lawyer sent her a refund of overpaid fees a year after and um, the same question mommy so what did the person do I said nothing just allow him to sit on you are you understanding me just allow him to sit on you we are going to lift up our voice this morning that Lord sit on me. You see, the world is governed by laws and principles. There are certain principles if you can only apply them, my darling, you will you you you, you will not you will not pray for hours. No. It's just principles. The reason why we are not experiencing certain things is because we don't understand principles. Pure principle, nothing but principles. I want us to pray this morning. Sit on me. I ask that Lord sit on me. You cannot go on a 100 days of fasting and after you are done your life is still the same it's an error 
It's a total error. There are people that are connected by the grace of God. Their prayer life have gone to another level. Some of them didn't even know how to pray at all. But by the grace of God, they can now stand on their feet and pray. My darling, we are lifting up our voice. I don't know about you, but my desire for you is for you to allow God, the spirit of the living God, to sit on you. That's my desire for you. Lift up your voice this morning. Come on. We are going to pray. Wherever you are, you are going to lift up your voice. Sit on me, Lord. I'm asking that you sit on me. Jehovah, sit on me. Sit on me. I don't want my will to rule anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired. I need you to sit on me. Lord, help me. Help me. Open your mouth. People of God this morning, open your mouth. Lift up your voice. Say, Lord, sit on me. Holy Ghost, sit on me. Come on. Lift up your voice. Come on. Lift up your voice. People of God, lift up your voice. Come on. Lift up your voice. Begin to pray. Come on. Let's do it together. Come on. Begin to pray. Come on. Begin to pray. Come on. Begin to pray. Mali Adada. Lekuli Idadado. Raku Mendi Vanamaha. Come on. Lift up your voice. Come on. Let's pray. Come on. Let's pray. Sit on me, Lord. Come on. Sit on me. Lord, sit on me. My God, the same like you sat on the donkey. I pray, my God, as you have loosed me, Jehovah, sit on me. Come on, lift up your voice wherever you are. People of God, lift up your voice. Ka da da da. Li branto, mi gede grato, malaga dobraha, le makule gede de de mazu vazo bada. Come on, lift up your voice. People of God, pray this morning. Say, Lord, sit on me. Sit on me. Jehovah, sit on me. That my flesh, this thing called flesh, will not rule anymore. Jehovah, I need more of you. Open your mouth, my darling. Open your mouth. Come on, pray. Likato brado. Holy Ghost, sit on me. Holy Ghost, sit on me. Makudebra. Likato brande vene mekapa. Kalu alu adede. Meke de granto beni atopeni agadabra. Meli aduzo zomaya patoni nikiba. Alena boroko dobrate. Ligadadadara kato. Come on, open your mouth. Come on, open your mouth. Come on. Kapo raba zibiria katope. Mantoni mini bi iba. Ragadi brato, melia go don don deribi ibrata, marati zeveni akata grato, melia do bredi azosomakata. Mekuli ede raku branto benia li maratu zevene mekapa la bo raki degre li maruku di adabra benia gunde de 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 baka. Come on, lift up your voice. Tell the Lord, Father, sit on me, sit on me, sit on me. Mekodo bradia makuli ede de de meke da bratu madoma paradi vazuzo maya branta akundi abaragadea benia gunde di bi azoso matai li mo ratu be. Meri akatu baradada, me kubande vene de kapon, ile maradu zabab. Holy Ghost, sit on me. 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 Me ke de gratupa, makule grede mahab. Come on, come on, lift up your voice. Makule granta mrahab, ile marabada branta, me kotinda rabada bahab. Maradi azosoma, payakundi di bikaya. Come on, pray that your flesh will not rule anymore. That your flesh will not rain anymore, but you allow the Spirit of God to sit on you this morning. Open your mouth. Make it the grant. Atoni mi ki pata. Rakon de de be kabranta. Me li wadin te de brente ke de. Wabi bandu ke de baha. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, open your mouth, child of God. Come on, pray this morning. My God, let pray from the depth of your heart. From the depth of your heart. Pray and say, God, sit on me. Holy Ghost, sit on me. Lift up your voice, people of God. Don't joke around this morning. Come on, lift up your voice. Li calabra, make it a Le godom brand de vene me give us all. La kule e de de. Maratu za gada gran talibika. Ile wala wadi za bratu ze varoba dishto. Makuli e de de. Make it a totapa. Paradim brakobo. Rimo zivili akapa. Makunde e de de de. Peli 
ya kunta braha apanda kanu wa dizibere le branto mene me kapra li maroki da gra marondi atobal makundi de bikipal maradi vazo gadabra paye kundi diato meken diato tanama meria kabra du vene me kal come on lift up your voice come on come on come on come on people of god pray tell the lord sit on me li kado branta maha kaboni adadada ba le gratumbre ege de grante come on come on pray we are almost done with our 100 days of fasting we are almost done pray and say lord sit on me open your mouth le katoli ada ramasi krente de beka maladante de branta kada granto melia donta la baka rabo sibiri aka rebo sakranta ba man toro wadin tedebre apa le marata tata man toro borobo zika rabo swaka Ile baragadam branto meli adum brandi veni biki pra le kalabala balaba mantoro boro 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 bo. Makati di bi aparaka le branta di briaka rebosi kranta ma ale wala 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 wadia ni kondi di bi azoha ile wala wadante de me kam marondi abrante kada rakatu brante ke de greke maradi abratumra at li manda kada grad ile maradu bi di akabando me di aku paradi aza me kondi di bi abrata rakumba divini me kam adodoroko badia me ke di azozo ma ya branto me kindi aparabada Ramakundi bibiri aka ramozi bibiri ekete brato makuli abanda kaba apar adizi bibiri ekete granto father sit on me imo rabaza i want to be a career a career of your power a career of your grace a career of your mercy a career of your glory a career of your mercy a career of your forgiveness in the name of jesus come on lift up your voice makunde de 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 Make the atopra, makada branta, makante rebeka, mandara bara ba, riko diato, mara di azozo, making the kadabra, para da brante, making the baba, mara duzi bre, li kato bradia, katunda da da bra, paya kunte de bre, para di izozo, makadi zaza, akatum brandia, akabara gadi, come on pray, child of God, come on lift up your voice, makunde brandia, izaya tatone, apareya tot. Tana e kanto ne me kapa paradum re egede a paradi azo makonda da 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 ba makande de 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 ba rabo zibiri akam mantoro wadinde re basuka alua alua daya makonde de 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 kapro Maria da zabranta kaba akondi adende re mazuata makuli abranta ba e kondi azazama a paradima e konde de 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 boza makonda da 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 brante a kondi azaza maradi abranta Tamaha makunde de 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 bako maratu brade ile wala wada makunda bradi vazo zabande kataya mantoro wadinte rabo sabranta branta braha ekanda da 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 baka rabo sibere ekapa Mante de braha ramasa kataba me konde brentia rakozi vindi atonte manta de bri kapa rabosa kantoni bi ibrote raki barada da brante braha ramozi bri kapa raga di branto maha ato maradi azuza vala badea mantoro wada rabosa branta baha le mantoro wadi zibiri aka ya raba ba 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 ikonda da 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 baso makateri abratia me konda da 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 brante maha a to rapa ile wala wadante de me kapa makunda da 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 banto me habadaya a roba da e konta brante brante kaba fada set on me i pray today a koda branta ya a kanta da branta ba may i be my god fada yes not an extension fada of your hand a kadombre e de as you sit on me that father yes lord a ko branta brahad i will be an eye my god your eye fada yes lord that I 
will be your feet here on earth. That I will be your hand of God. Makadi Azozo Maya Prata. Paradi Madomba Dia Tentenemeka. Rabozi Bidi Aka Penny. Akonda Dada Bozi Bidi Aka. Come on, lift up your voice. People of God, come on, pray. Arakatum Rendeva. Mantani Bri Eke de Grantum Re Eke. Rabasa Stobato Maha. Akunda Brande Venemeka. Limanda Rabarabaka. Rabozi Bidi Eka. Rakatum Rande Rebe Eparagadi Azomaha. In the name of Jesus. Malachi chapter 2. Open your Bible with me. Malachi chapter 2. Malachi chapter 2. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Malachi chapter 2. Look at verse 13. And this have you done again, covering the altar of the Lord with tears, with weeping, and with crying out, in so much that he regarded not the offerings anymore, or received it with good will at your hand. Yet, you say, wherefore? He says, because the Lord be witness between thee and the wife of thy youth, against whom thou hast dealt treacherously, yet is she thy companion and the wife of thy covenant. He says, guess what? You cover my, my altar with tears. And I mean, you have done it so much so that now, even when you bring sacrifices on my altar, I don't regard it anymore. Why? Because you are dealing treacherously with the wife of your youth. With literally your husband, the husband of your youth. You are dealing evil one towards another. And yet you bring sacrifices unto me. And I don't look at it anymore. Because your heart has become so hardened that you are dealing with one another as if you are dealing with unbelievers and yet you are Christians. You are God's children and we are evil towards one another. Wicked towards one another. And he says you come and you, 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 you literally saturate my altar with your tears. You go into your sanctuaries and you bring, Lord, Lord, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And God says, you have done it so many times that I'm not looking at you anymore. I'm not even looking at you anymore. Says you cover. And this, have you done again? You've done it again. Covering the altar of the Lord with tears, with weeping and with crying out in so much that he regarded not your offerings anymore or receive it with good will at your hand yet you say wherefore and the lord is saying you are asking god why and god is saying because verse 14 the lord be witness between you and the wife of your youth against whom Thou hast dealt treacherously, yet she is thy companion and the wife of thy covenant. Verse 15. And did not he make one? Yet had he the residue of the spirit and wherefore one. Ha. That he may he might seek a godly seed. Therefore, take heed to your spirit. Mm. He didn't say take heed to your flesh. He said, wherefore, take heed to your spirit and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. For the Lord, the God of Israel, saith, that he hated putting away 
for one covereth violence with his garment, say as the Lord of hosts, therefore take heed to your spirit that you deal not treacherously. Take heed. He didn't say to your mind. He didn't say to your body. He said, take heed to your spirit. Now, when you look at the spirit there, I have taught us, when you are reading the Bible, and you see spirit, and it's a bigger, um, an, an uppercase S, it's talking about the Holy Spirit. But when it's a lowercase S, it's talking about our human spirit. Your spirit, my spirit, our human spirit. He says, look at verse 15. And did not he make one yet? Had he the residue of the spirit, a small s, and wherefore one, that he might seek a godly seed, therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously against the wife. with your spirit what you do because everything you do literally everything you say comes from within the bible said with the abundance of the heart the mouth will speak whatever you are saying whatever you are doing it says take heed to your spirit if you can only take heed to your spirit and not dealing treacherously one with another and being of help one with another or to another and allowing the spirit of God. Jesus was not selfish. No. Jesus was not greedy. You cannot tell me that Jesus is sitting on you and yet you are the most meanest person on the face of the earth. My darling, when you ask him to sit on you, let him really sit on you. Let there be changes in your, in your attitude the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you behave, let the world see changes in you. There is a song, great change in me, great change in me. I am so happy, I am so free. He brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. Oh, 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 great change in me. You cannot say that you have encountered Jesus and your life is not the same. Take heed to your spirit. Because out of this thing called heart are the issues of life. I want us to lift up our voice. He says, you. <laughs> oh, precious Lord. He says, you cover my altar with so much tears that I don't regard your tears anymore. You cover it with so much tears. In other words, what you are not supposed to be doing, you keep doing it over and over and over. And over and over. Oh, Jennifer Marlow, the Lord bless. Jennifer, Minister Jennifer, the Lord bless you. Over and over and over and over and over and over. You keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over. And Paul said, because of grace, do we have to keep sinning because of grace? 
The answer is no. Do we have to keep sinning because of grace? Oh, there is grace. And so let me do it. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but let me do it. I'll repent tomorrow. Now, who told you that tomorrow is promised to you? Who told you that? I want us to pray again. That Father, sit on me. Use me for your glory. Use me. I want to be an extension of your hand to help somebody. I want to be an extension. I felt in my spirit to be of help to children in Ghana just this week. This week. I called one of my my sons, I love so much. I called him and I said, can you do me a favor? He says, mommy, you know anything. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it for you. I said, I feel in my spirit that I have to put a smile on children's faces. I said, I just send, I just, I'm sending you money. I said, I want you to gather children, as many as you can gather. Children. I said, go to the street, call them. I said, send somebody to go to, to the neighborhood and call them, call them. Children, I said, bring them together. I said, buy them cakes. I said, buy them fruit. I said, buy them um, 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 sodas. I said, put Put a smile on their face because I felt it so strong in my spirit. I felt it so strong in my spirit. I said, please do me a favor. I said, bless these children. She says, he, he says, he says, Ma, I said, this is what I feel in my spirit to do. I said, I, I said I'm sending you money. Just, just get it done ASAP. Says, Mommy. I say, are you listening to me? And so, I just sent him $500. $500. I said, as much as they can eat and take home. I said, gather them. And so, they are doing FaceTime and they are in the store and they are getting the minerals, the sodas and the cakes and the biscuits and the bread and the fruit. And they are saying, Ma, is this okay? Ma, is that okay? Ma, is that okay? And they guarded the children. My darling, some of them have no shoes on. <laughs> some of them, you look at And you are saying, if not for grace, I could have been just like that, if not for grace. Hmm? And he gathered these children, almost 200 of them. And he calls me on WhatsApp video. And he tells them, the woman that is doing this thing for you is right there. Look at the woman on the video. And guess what happened? All the children stood up and started praying for me. wants us to be his hand here on earth. He wants us to be his hand. He wants to use you and I. Allow him to sit on you. Allow him to sit
if these children and God said something to me, he said, Sylvia, these children were not expecting this. They had no idea that before the day, some of them have not eaten. He says, these children have no idea. He says, Sylvia, the way you surprise them, he says, I, God, I will surprise you. Allow him to sit on you. Let God use you for his glory. Stop being selfish. And allow him. Sometimes people don't even need anything for your smile, your hug, your pat on the back, your kiss on the cheek. Some of them, they don't need your money. They are just broken. And they want somebody to just give them a hug. When you are giving them a hug, you know what you are doing? You have become an extension. Of God's grace. And he's only using you. To reach out to them. Are you listening to me? He's using you. To reach out to them. I'm one person. I don't do good. And spill it out. But because. Of what the Lord. Wants you and I. To allow him to do. That is the reason why I said it. I don't, I, don't, I don't share stuff like that. No, I don't. He wants us to be his extended hand here on earth. That through us, other donkeys, that through us, other donkeys will be delivered. And God will sit on them as well through us and the donkeys will be delivered. I want us to stretch forth our hands this morning. Yeah, I'm done. Stretch forth your hands this morning. Just lift it up high. And say, Lord, here I am. That's all. Lord, here I am. Touch me. Heal me. Save me. Deliver me. And use me for your glory. Here I am. Lord, here I am. Lift up your voice. Come on. Come on. Lift up your voice. Come on. Lift up your voice. Lord, here I am. Come on. Come on, Lord, here I am. Come on, come on, come on. Lift up your voice. Come on. I'm, I'm done. Come on, lift up your voice. Say, Lord, here I am. Come on. Here I am. Lord, here I am. Here I am. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lift up your voice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Father, here I am. Here I am. Come on. Lift up your voice. Talk to the Father. Come on, talk to God. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Talk to him this morning. Say, Lord, here I am. Lord, here I am. Lord, here I am. Come on, let's do it together. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, amo zi granta. Meni andorobo zi gede granta la badome e kalabadia. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, Lord, here I am. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, lift up your voice. Kalabo zimbran terebre e kapala balaba. Remazo gede granto. Meni mi iparagadia. Marabronte gede granto. Meli adozaza. Porakute brante. Meni agada gradi. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mara bo 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 bo. Mako legada gada. 
li marato zi vasto meli agadi melegede le brato mr agadi mr egede gran talababo ramosi krato brante le benebo ramasi kreti abrati bra ilegede gran tamaha me kolobolobo come on 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 makora mazia ibababe peliado maradando ikalabranta mraha come on lift up your voice come on come on come on father here i am here i am this morning kadumre edeveni akule brandi zavaro gadibra autostemaha father here i am kadumre eke de gran terebre eka paragadia moro ali avazozo maya pradi zege de gratoste fasto mahabadia father here i am father here i am use me lord kato brande mraha come on come on come on come on come on talk to the lord this morning we are almost done come on talk to your father this morning Say that Lord, here I am. Use me, Lord. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Makila Badumaka. Lebran Tomre Ege de Vrasto Bran Terebre Eka Palagadia. Rakumele Vazozo Malagada Branta Maha. Me konda rabarabo zivra akada grante brehe li marato bre elege de granta paya kadom bre ege de granto meni apanda kaluwa di zebre eke paragadu maro ba 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 bo zibiri ekapa come on lift up your voice come on lift up your voice come on lift up your voice come on spirit of the living God kato bre elege de grato stefa mandoro bo zibiri akapa la manda kaluwa di zebre nta kalabalaba di zabo kaba Come on, come on, say, dear Lord, here I am. Father, here I am. Use me for your glory. Father, here I am. Mako da brato melege de granta maha. Holy Spirit, here I am. Mako brante bani adoza bo. Mekunda bradi varagado branta la babandi ridika. Rema sua pa 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 he. Le ma kadua din tene mele akabare adom brande bre ekabat. Rema ma 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 mo jibende de bere bere be. Raka pa raba ba ba ba. Makatombra ilevaza granti brante brahabadaya in the name of Jesus. Pick up your bottle of water. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pick up your bottle of water. Isaiah 58, verse 11. Come on, let's do it together. Come on. Yes, the fruit will do the fruit, my darling. We will do the fruit. Just lift up your your bottle of water, your glass of water. Let's do it. We'll do the fruit. Okay. Let's do the water. Yes, we'll do the fruit, sweetie. No, I haven't. I have not forgotten. I want us to do what um, I'm led to do. All right. Come on, lift up the water first. Isaiah 58. Verse 11. Let's read it together. And the Lord shall guide me continually and satisfy my soul in drought and make fat my bones. And I shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Oh, my darling. My darling, it is well. It is well. Father, we turn these waters. From its natural use to a supernatural use. We turn the water into the blood of Jesus. As we drink this morning, may our lives be watered. In the name of Jesus. every dry areas in our lives, let it receive rain. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. 
Come on, drink it and get your fruit ready. Come on. The second fruit, get it ready. Come on. Come on. Oh, Patricia, my love. Good morning. Good morning. Get your fruit this morning. Come on. Get your fruit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Life without Jesus is really empty. Life with Jesus is meaningful. I gave life to him. Come on. Come on. Get your fruit. Come on. Let's do it together. Our time is up. Come on. Get your fruit. Come on. Let's do it together. Get, get your fruit. Come on. Come on. Get your fruit. Get your fruit. Come on. your fruit get your fruit lift it up come on lift it up come on come on come on come on whether it's banana peach um whatever it is um, um whatever it is okay peach banana apple um, mango oh you can't buy the song. Why? It's on Apple Play. Go on Apple Play. All right? Apple Play. Um, it's all over the place. All right? Um, just um, go search it. Um, it's, it's on, you know, a whole bunch of places. Um, Sylvia Blessings, I Lay My Life. Okay? Sylvia Blessings, I Lay My Life. And, um, oh, I see Plum. How? No, it's Apple Play. It's I think, I think it's a dollar something. Just da, just buy it's a dollar something. Just download it on your, your device, and you know you can have it and play it. All right, the Lord bless. Let's not, yeah. Strawberry plum. I see. Um, somebody said Jamaican apple. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah. I see it all. Lift it up. Come on, grapes. Awesome. Lift it up. Come on, lift it up. Lift it up. Father, we pray over these fruits. I pray this morning that Lord, whatever fruit your people have in their hands, every spiritual benefit to this fruit, may they never be denied of it. I am asking that even as this fruit, some are very juicy, some are sweet. Father, whatever it is that your people are believing you for in their lives, through this fruit, may it manifest in their lives. I honor you and I give you the praise this morning. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, enjoy your fruit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Enjoy. Come on. Come on. Enjoy, enjoy your fruit, okay? Now. Now, um, when I put all the um, um, names of those that have registered 
okay? When I went through all of it, I realized that we still have um, 10. We still have 10 spots left for the retreat. I realized we still have 10 more spots left. And so, no, it's not too late, um, Ruth. You know, it's not too late. It's not too late. If you are watching me and you have not sown your $80 seed, I'm asking, be obedient and sow it. $80. Sow it. Um, go on the website, sylviablessings.org. Sylviablessings.org. Sow that seed. Those of you um, who have straight PayPal, if you go on PayPal, is um Sylvia Blessing. Okay, Sylvia Blessing Ministries at, at gmail.com and then you can do direct PayPal. Oh, in Maryland. In Maryland. Okay. So we have 10 spots left. I went through all the list. Oh, precious Lord. Then I realized we have 10 spots left. And so um I am asking those of you, how do we register? Please please and so yeah call you can call 347 when we are done okay you can call 347 701 4074 347 701 4074 you can call that number um you can also go on um sylvia blessings.org well that come also works okay either that org that come is all it all works um the cash app okay the cash app number is 917-703-0964. That is the number associated with the um, cash app. Cash app, yes, 917-703-0964. That is the number associated. Yes, my darling, it's once a year um, for the retreat. Um, is going to go on every year. Um, there are certain many programs. Um, hey, I am believing God to come to um, Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, in the month of May. I'm believing God to come to Atlanta. And so to all of you who are in Atlanta, um, I want you to inbox me. Um, let's brainstorm together. Um, let's see where we can get and find in Atlanta, Georgia, and I want to come there for two days, two days in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, it will be on a Friday and on a Saturday, okay? Friday and Saturday, like I did in Houston, Texas. I want to, um, I'll be in, um, you know, Atlanta, Georgia. And so those of you in Atlanta, Georgia, hey, I want you to start inboxing me, all right? And let's get it going. I know I will be in, um, in um, California in September, in September. Yes. I will be in California in September. Yes, 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 yes. I will be in California um, in September. And so um, all the information will be given out. I'll be in California in September. I will be back in um, Minnesota in May. I'll be back in Minnesota in May. Um, and uh, all the, you know, all the information um, is going to be given. Uh, but uh, we still have some spots left for the retreat in Maryland. And so um, if you have not, listen, listen, I said it in the beginning. Some of us, now a retreat is, you know what a retreat is? A retreat. You are getting yourself from the noise. You are removing yourself from the noise to go and seek God. That's what a retreat is. Pl plain and simple. And so we are all going, we are going to get ourselves there for four days and three nights. Four days and three nights. We'll be there um, on Thursday. The seventh is on the Thursday. Okay? The seventh. Oh, Seattle. I will be coming to Seattle. Oh, my sweetie, don't worry. I will be in Seattle. Don't worry, I'll be there. And so... Um, um, the servant is on the on the Thursday, so I uh, will check in there at 4 p.m. and then um, we take off. Thursday evening we'll have service. Um, Friday the whole day there will be breaks in between. 
Saturday, oh my God, is going to be glorious. And then we leave, um, you know, the place Sunday after 12. Okay, we'll have service in the morning and after 12 we leave. And so I'm asking, um, you know, come along with us. It's going to be glorious. We are going to seek the face um, of the Lord. This year, God has said so much good things about us, but it's not going to come on a silver platter. Are you understanding? We have to, we have to fight for it to receive it. We have to, we have to crucify this thing called flesh. Okay. <laughs> we have to crucify this thing called flesh. We have to crucify the flesh and allow a spirit man to come alive. All right. To come alive. And so let's get it done. Uh, we still have a um, few spots left. And I want every one of you, okay? I have the flyer on my page there for the retreat. I want every one of you to just target and share. Start sharing. I mean, share. And invite your friends to come. Um, some of you, to be the first time. Um, I will meet you for the first time. You'll meet me for the first time. Um, I saw a whole bunch of people when I went to um, Houston, Texas, and it was glorious. Oh, I loved it. Love it, love it, love it. And so all of you in Houston, Texas, come on, come on, come on, come on, come along. Uh, we will still make room for more if we have to make room for more. We will. The Lord bless you. I love you. I love you, love you. Love you. Oh, Equia. Equia, you know your mother loves you. I love you, Equia Portia. I love you. I love you. I do. I love you. I love you. There is something about you, your your humility and obedience. And um, I know because of that, God will take you places. Your humility and obedience. There's something. Obedience, your obedience, my darling. And so, love you. You are in the hands of God. Stay there. Oh, it says, don't miss mommy. Wherever mommy go and you are there. Oh, I bless God. I bless God. Now, let me say this to you. If you are also watching us and you know you live far, some of you are outside the country and you can't come to the retreat, there are some people that would want to come that may not have enough money. And... Um, that may not um, have, they want to come, but they don't have enough money. I want us to be able to help people. Now, if you know you can afford it, don't come telling me, mommy, I can't afford it. Jesus sees you, hello. But there are some that can't afford, and, but they really want to come. Those of you outside, those of you who want to be, okay, um, let's support some people who can't afford let's 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 stretch forth our hands to them and help them at least at least i know of three people that really want to come but they can't afford it let's help us help them when they come to the retreat and they lift up prayer you will also get your miracle you'll get the blessing as well all right so let's do that um the other thing is this anybody that calls me mother, anybody that I'm a mentor to, you are my mentee, you cannot call somebody a mother and yet you can't participate in anything that the person does. That's just a big question mark on there. And so, I love you with God's love. Let's come together and let's seek the face. I will, sweetie. Let's seek the face of the Lord together. I love you with God's love. Enjoy your morning. Some, it's afternoon. Please make sure you go to church. Don't stay home. Go to church. Hour of blessings on Blessings TV. Every Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be powerful um, today by the grace of God. I will be in the studio. I have not been in the studio for two, two, two weeks because I was outside of the state doing God's work. 
and so um, I will be in the studio today. I have a powerful guest with me this morning, this afternoon, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be um, shown live on Facebook, live on YouTube, live on Periscope. And so I'm asking um, all of you, tune in um, when you get a notification that we are live on Facebook um, at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just come. Let's do it together. Love you. See you later. The Lord bless. Bye-bye.